Hi, today I'm reviewing the Marion May Itabanone and Blackberry Complex Serum. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, finally get a chance to review this serum, which I've been loving for since it came out. Um, really nice brand. Worth checking out. Some affordable prices. Uh, they also have a moisturizer cream version of this, which is also wonderful. I'll certainly review that, but they've got a lot of nice products, mostly affordable, mostly fragrance free, but not totally. So check it out before, but anyway. Okay. So they say reverse signs of aging with this hypoallergenic serum formula with 1000 part per million of itabanone and 20% blackberry complex, two powerful antioxidants that also protect the skin from environmental irritation, which is all true. So. Okay, my first criteria is packaging. You know what I like about this dropper ball is I can find it, and I like the fact that it's a dark color, so if I want to leave it on my countertop, I can, where the sun might come in. Um, so I did a good job with that. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's I like the rose gold printing on it. I don't know. I'm kind of a dork, but I like it. It's just kind of cool. Uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, this does not contain any of those. Uh, it's also fragrance free. So if you have sensitive skin, sensitive to fragrance, that's always a good thing for us. And the manufacturing location for this one is Korea. So no issues with that. So ease of use. So they recommend applying a moderate amount and gently massage into skin. They recommend using it morning and evening, uh, which you certainly can. Personally, if you're going to use this, I highly recommend using it in your morning routine, especially if you're someone that hasn't found a vitamin C serum that works well, uh, because this uh, the ingredients in here are so great at protecting your skin from environmental stressors. Uh, that's why you want to use it in your morning routine. You can certainly use it in your evening routine as well. Um, smooths into skin really nice, has a kind of a water texture to it, absorbs quickly, plays well with other products, no pilling issues, layers nice. Um, yeah, in my summer routine, I really liked using this one under my sunscreen. It worked well with that. Um, yeah, so lately I've been applying this, then the green tea uh, serum from Isn't Tree, and then my either my vitamin C serum or my sunscreen, just depends, but it soaks in nicely. It's not sticky. It sets to a natural finish. It doesn't look greasy. It doesn't look matte, which is pretty nice. So very easy to use. Uh, in terms of antioxidants and beneficial ingredients, okay, so right off the bat, we've got that 20% blackberry fruit extract, which is... Uh, obviously, antioxidant, uh, it's taken from blackberry fruit. Uh, the nice thing about blackberry is it includes a lot of good components such as ferulic acid, caffeic acid, and quercetin, which are all really good antioxidant skin protecting ingredients. Um, contains a lot of good antioxidants. Blackberries are a really good source of it. So using it in your skincare is a great idea. Uh, then we've got acai extract which I'm probably saying wrong, A-C-A-I, acai, acai, acai extract, which is another good source of antioxidants as well as polyphenols. Uh, it's also a great source of fatty acids and good for anti-aging. So it's a very good ingredient. Drink it, eat it, whatever you do, it's good for you either way. Then we've got blueberry extract, another good antioxidant skin conditioning and also has some good skin soothing properties. Um, so blueberry contains some good polyphenols, uh, good source of vitamin C. And uh, they say, although the polyphenol-based antioxidants are present in far greater amounts, research has shown that the antioxidants in blueberries are particularly adept at shielding skin from unwanted changes in skin that occur when exposed to visible and infrared light. So another great reason to use this in your morning routine. If you're going to be outside, even wearing a sunscreen, it can also help your sunscreen work better. Uh, then finally, we've got that itabanone, which is a synthetic antioxidant. It's very similar to CoQ10. There's not a whole ton of research on itabanone, although there's a lot of serums coming out with it as the star ingredient. It's a good antioxidant. I'm not sure it's as great as everyone, all these brands make it out to be. There's certainly a great ingredient to have in your routine, but I'm not sure it's as great as they make it out to be, but there's certainly absolutely nothing wrong with having your routine. It's going to be a good ingredient to have in your routine. Um, yeah, so they don't really know if it's actually better than CoQ10 or not. There's not a lot of research, but it is good. Uh, then we've got hydrogenated lecithin, which is an emollient. And then finally, arginine, which is a skin identical ingredient. So a nice good list of beneficial ingredients 
antioxidants, skin soothing ingredients, hydrating ingredients, um, and protecting ingredients. So they've done a very good job with this. They did a good job. Okay, in terms of animal testing, uh, as per Mary and May on their website, they state they're cruelty free. So I'm going with what they say, but sometimes there's more. If you have more information, more links, click leave them below, but that's all I could find out, so. Okay, so in terms of performance, really enjoying this one. Repurchased a backup already, which says a lot. Also enjoy the cream, really helps hydrate my skin. Um, I will say my skin feels more hydrated after I use it. Looks maybe a little brighter. Um, love using this before my sunscreen to fight off environmental stressors and UV damage. Uh, the other nice thing is it's gonna be very friendly for most skin types, including acne prone, because there's only one ingredient of note, and that is carbomer, which is very low on the acnegenic scale. So very nice, could be very friendly for dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, and acne prone skin. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, in terms of the price, so this is the full size, which is one ounce, 30 milliliters, retails for around $16, although frequently it'll be on sale at Yes Style or Jolsey or wherever for 10 to $15, but even at $16, it's a pretty darn good deal. Darn good, I say. <laughs> darn good. Um, then in term of, terms of the It Factor, really nice product. It could be, this one could be a real nice alternative uh, for people that are too sensitive for a lot of vitamin C products. It's a good antioxidant serum that you can use in your morning routine. No fragrance, good ingredients, affordable well packaged. It is the real deal. I am loving this stuff. And the nice thing is it is so easy to add in your routine without having to take anything else out or switch anything. I love a product like that where you can just add it in seamlessly and not have any issues because this plays well with other products. So with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 10. I love this stuff. It is amazing. It is worth checking out. Um, anyway, so I'm interested in hearing from you guys. If you've had a chance to try this, uh, or not, or if you're going to try it. So leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.